What is up everybody? It is me Devil Never Cry and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the Anenra boss in Neo 2. As always make sure to subscribe to stay up to date with anything and everything on the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out when any content drops. We're getting straight into the boss fight. This is an early boss in Neo 2 but a challenging one. As soon as you get into the arena make note of these pillars. If you can get the boss to hit them some water will cascade from the roof and you'll get some easy damage in. If you manage to get him to hit all three of them in rapid succession, he'll be stunned, his stamina bar will be empty, and you can go in for the context sensitive execution attack. Unfortunately, I don't get it because I'm a scrub. Uh, I ended up being slightly too far when I hit the, uh, the heavy attack button and I didn't get it. You also just want to be careful of this boss in general. It does a lot of damage. I'm going for a sort of light armor mid stance sort of tactic here. I'm not looking to trade damage, I'm just looking to. Um, to go in there with a few attacks and then dodge out and then go back in, if that makes sense. You can use heavy heavy armor if you want, but I, I wouldn't really recommend trying to tank his hits because he does stupid damage. So, the attacks to look out for here. The combo, the two hit combo he loves to do with that kick. He'll, uh, he'll do that one after the other, so he'll combo into the kick and then combo into the kick again. So don't go in there after the first kick thinking you're safe because you're not. Uh, I've been hit by that many a time until I eventually realized he loves to do two of them in a row. But if you can bait two of them out in a row, you'll be able to get off a nice chunk of damage and then quickly retreat because he likes to do another combo where he'll throw out a flurry of these sort of hand swipes and then go for the double handed overhead ground slam which leaves him fairly vulnerable. His move that is quite easily you know, burst countered is the tornado move he loves to throw out. It's a move that will track you and go straight for you, so time it properly. Uh, I managed not to get it a few times because I kind of wasn't really paying all that much attention when I should have been. Um, but it's it's a fairly straightforward attack. There's definitely harder attacks to burst counter. The other move to look out for is the tornado moves. He loves to throw out. He'll throw out five of them. I would recommend that you pick one and just block it. Don't try and dodge because the amount of times I've attempted to dodge one successfully only to go into the path of another is, is nigh on insane. But you just want to be careful. Pick and choose your moments. There'll be times here where I get annoyed and just go in for the trade. Don't do that. He does more damage than you do. A lot more. Uh, so it's not worth it as I get the uh, the old burst counter there. But again, just, uh, just be patient with the boss. This kind of goes for the majority of the bosses so far actually. Just don't try and mash him down. As you can see, I'm using the mid stance for the switch glaive, not the low stance. I've got the uh, the most agile dodge possible, considering my equipment burden is the lowest sort of possible in that category, if that makes sense. Um, and I'm just trying to stay agile. The um, the low stance with the switch glaive, whilst it's kind of fast, it has almost no range, which puts you in, in danger, and it does almost no damage. As he goes for a grab there. He does have a grab, a grab attack. If that catches you, you're basically dead. So don't get grabbed. <laughs> um, but then the high stance, whilst it's got the same amount of range as mid stance, it does a lot more damage. But it's also a lot slower and the dodge isn't the best. So again, the mid stance seemed to be the best of both worlds for me. We've almost got him finished off here. But uh, instead of finishing him off, I'm trying to just be patient. What are you doing, devil? Just go in there and slap this dude. Slap him with the old Scythe of Doom. And that uh, that is essentially Anenra done. Not too hard once you know what you're doing, but um, yeah, if you don't know what you're doing, it can be tricky. I died quite a few times to this boss before I finally sat down and realized I should probably just stop trying to damage race him. But that's going to be the end of this video. Let me know what you guys think about Neo 2 if you're enjoying it so far. With all that said and done, it has been me, Double Never Cry. I would like to thank all of you for watching, and as always, I'll see you all next video.